Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third of exercise two point three. And in question number third, we have to obtain all other zeros of this particular polynomial if two of its zeros are given as root five by three and minus root five by three. We know that zeros are basically the values of x when put in this. Uh, polynomial, the value of this whole polynomial becomes zero. So obviously, these two values of x are given, and we have to find out the remaining two because here the maximum power is four. So the values of x for this equation, or you can say for this polynomial, must come equals to four, or or you can say the value of x satisfying this equation are four. Or you can say zeros of this equation are four. Okay, we know that the value of x here is basically five by three, and another value of x is basically root five by three. So when we uh, shift this to this side, so obviously this must be a factor of this polynomial. Similarly. This again must be a factor of this polynomial. Obviously, if these two are the factor of this polynomial, so the multiplication of these two factor must also be a factor for this polynomial. So multiplying this, so this is basically a minus b multiplied by this is basically a plus b. So this is equals to a square minus b square. A is basically x, so it is a square, sorry x square, and b is root five by three, so that will be equals to five by three, equals to zero. So obviously, this must be a factor for this particular polynomial. This is uh, root five by three whole square is basically five by three square and root are cancelled out. So We know that this is a factor for this polynomial, so you have to remain uh, find out the remaining uh, factor. So for that, we have to divide 3x square plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 by x square minus 5 by 3. If you divide this by this factor, so you will be Able to find out the remaining factors. Okay, let's divide it. This is another part. Okay, you have to make it three x square. So you have to multiply something with x square to make it three x. Uh, this is actually raised to power four. So you have to make it three x raised to power four. So obviously you have to multiply x square with three and with x square. Because three multiplied by one is three, and x square is multiplied by x square is x raised to power four. After that, you have to multiply this with this. So three x square minus multiplied by minus five by three is actually okay. You have to multiply three x square by minus five by three. So obviously, this three and this three can be cancelled out. So minus five by Minus five x square will come out, so that could can be written before x square, so that it would be easy to solve. After that, you have to subtract, so you have to change the sign, and this positive negative can be cancelled out. This value can be copied as it is because there is nothing to solve with, and this plus this minus is minus, so plus minus is minus five minus two is three. Plus three x square because greater value has positive sign. After that, I can copy this ten x as it is. Now you have to make it three six x cube. You have to multiply something with x square to make it six x cube. So obviously you have to multiply it with positive six. So six multiplied by one is six, and you need x cube. For that, you have to multiply x square with x, so that x into x square is x cube. After that, you have to multiply this with this, so this will become uh, 
3 can be cancelled by 6 2 times and 2 into 5 is 10. So this will be minus 10x. Again you have to subtract, you have to change the sign and this can be cancelled out. So this can be copied as it is and this positive negative can be cancelled out. So minus 5 is remain here. So minus 5 is copied as it is. After that you have to make it 3x square. For that you have to multiply x square with 3 because 3 multiplied by x square is 3x square. After that you have to multiply this with this also. So 3 cancelled by 3 so that will become minus 5. After that again you have to subtract and for subtracting change the sign and this positive negative this positive negative can be cancelled out. So obviously the remainder is 0. So this is the factor for this polynomial and the remaining factor is this much. After that what you have to do is again factorize this means you have to split the middle term. For that we are taking 3 as common so this will be x square plus 2x plus 1. This is one factor x square minus 5 by 3 is another factor. So obviously this can be again factorized. This is basically a square, this is basically b square and this is 2 into a into b. So obviously this is a plus b whole square and x square minus 5 by 3 is another factor. After that this again can be written as x plus 1 into x plus 1 and this can be this is basically these are the two factors and again where I, when I split it this is basically root 5 by 3 into x plus root 5 by 3. So this uh, so these four are the factors for this polynomial and if this is a factor so this plus 1 must be equal to 0 so the value of x must be minus 1 so this is and minus 1 so these two are the other two factors or you can say other two zeros for this polynomial and these two are already given in the question so this is the method or you can say this is how you can solve this question Thank you.